Hello, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. So last time we went over automation and a couple of the basic controls, and today we're going to talk about ratios and setting up our first science. So if you missed that first video, uh, that's what we went over. But uh, since then, I've added a couple more buildings. I've added a couple more automations. If you want to see how I set up stuff like this, check out that other video. Uh, something that I also did in between, which could be very helpful, is I have a miner going into this coal box, which gives me coal, which I can shove in my face hole, so I don't have to worry about running out of mech power as much. I still have to worry about it, but not as much. So, let's talk about ratios. So, we're going to use stone as our example as our first example. It's going to be a couple examples. So let's go to our stone node. Uh, I have miners. So let's get mining. And remember, when you place a miner, the more nodes you cover, the faster it's going to go. So this is going to... this isn't powered, so I don't know how fast it's going to go. Let's get that powered. 240 a minute. 240 a minute. That's perfect. That's... Oh my gosh, eight, no, four per second. The base belts, it's good to remember, the base belts carry six items per second. You can always check uh, by looking at, by clicking on any one of the belts, it's going to say, you know, give you a lot of weird stuff, nodes, cargo, speed, six per second. And if you ever need to take stuff off of a belt, you just click and hold this. So that's another good control. Okay, and we're going to have our guys do all this. So if we want to get the max output on this belt, what we're going to need is six smelters for stone bricks. If we look at our recipe, the smelters uh, make them at a rate of one per second. So if we have six on the belt, six per second, one machine makes one per second, that means we need six machines. And this is kind of the basic concept of the recipes. So again, we set our recipe to stone bricks. We shift click to copy and then click and drag. And that will set all of our stuff. So now we just gotta wait for our, our little guys to make it all. Now we also need glass. Well, first we need power. So let's set some power poles. We also need glass. <laughs> so let's go to the other side of this node and set up some glass smelting. This guy can go hmm, maybe around here. Yes. And then this guy can go like this. Cool. Now let's set up another system. I don't know if I'd be able to fit that there. Actually, I think I can. I might be able to squeeze it in, but it's always best to have more space than less space. So we'll, we'll put it up here. Yeah, let's put it up here. That works. That works. Now, we want to make glass. So, glass is actually a little different. Two stones take two seconds to make two glass. We need two belts uh, making glass in order to get our six per second. So, i got to set up two of these. Fun stuff, right? Let's see if I can get two more nodes here. And again, there's many ways to do this. You can do it however you want. But what I'm going to have is... Okay, two-sided double smelter. I always get this mixed up. Put you 
you there. Let me put you there. And that's gonna collect with that. So we're just gonna let's move it out. Is there stuff over there? Yeah, we can just move you out over here. And that'll be good. So we got one belt going that way. This we will probably have to move eventually. Let's actually make sure that we're given that iron node enough space to breathe. Okay, and we're back. So, let's set up this double smelter. So we grab our smelter, we got one there, one there. Now remember, for the glass recipe, we're looking at our recipe, we need two stone for one. So that's why we need twice as many smelters. So this side is going to make three of them per second, and this side is going to make three of them per second. Because again, it takes two stone and two seconds. That's why we need two belts to make one belt, and twice as many machines as the six, six the um, the stone brick smelter. So let's get our stuff going. Now you cannot um, have these conflict with one another, right? So we just have to do a nice little offset. And what I like to do is have the input like that, offset like this, and set that recipe. Then, through TV magic, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just flip it around. And I'm missing some smelters. Let's make some of those. If you ever make a mistake, just delete it. It's all fine. There we go. Snip these end pieces off. And power it up. And this is going to make us a full belt of glass, which is great. And that's kind of how you do the uh, ratios. So let's grab some of this glass and make ourselves some labs and um, we can go back to our main base and start working on science. Okay, so now we're back uh, near our main base. Let's talk about setting up our first science. So we're going to go to our replicator and we're going to see that the blue science pack takes one of each, a magnetic coil and a circuit board. So what we're going to need is to determine how much are we going to make per second. And this is something that you're going to have to sustain throughout the entire playthrough. Although for the first pack, we're probably going to move this somewhere else later on. Um, but you're going to need a steady stream of these throughout the entire playthrough. Also, it is good to be in the habit of setting a target rate for all of your sciences. If we go to the tech tree, a lot of the sciences they require, you know, 300, 300, 600, 600, 2000, 2000. Some are different sometimes, like this is 3000, 750, 750, 1500. But more often than not, you're going to need, you know, the same amount of each science pack. So you're going to want to have a consistent rate. And you're going to want to determine that when you're making your blue science. So what I like to do is a rate of 60 science packs per minute. A lot of people also like doing 30 science packs per minute. But, you know, that's just your preference, so long as... The science is the same, Icarus will be happy. 
And you'll be happy because you're not going to be like, oh, my red chips are lower than my green ones. You know, that's why that's why everything's getting held up, etc., etc. And Icarus is saying, all right, enough rambling. Let's 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 get into it. So let's go to our replicator and get a assembler. We'll just put them right here for now. And right here for now. So we need green chips. And again, this makes two per second. So we should be good. However, just keep in mind for the assemblers, if we take a closer look, the production speed of the Mark I assembler is only 0.75. So for later things, you might get in a little bind if you think, oh, you know, it's at 100%. No, it's not. In this case, we're fine because we're going to make one and a half of each of these per, uh, per second. So it won't be an issue here for a target of 60, but just keep that in mind that the Mark I assemblers are slower than the actual speeds. Okay. And something else I think I mentioned last time, but I'll mention it again. The further away something is, the longer it's going to take to travel on the sorter. So let's just set up an example here. These all... oh, yeah, these are all getting powered. I don't know if this is going to get power, so let's just cover it just in case. So if we click on the sorter, we can see this is making one trip every 0 .5, 0 0.5 trips per second. This one's making 0.75 trips per second. This one is making one and a half trips per second. If stuff's further away, it's going to take longer to get in. So this is making if one, one trip per second. Is that sufficient? Uh, no, because we need one per second. So let's put this guy over on this other side. It'll be fine, trust me. Just trust. And copy that recipe. Alright. Let's we can put our we could just stick our labs over there. Belt go up and over and down. This belt goes over like this and over back this way. And our land. So our crafting speed is one every three seconds. So that just means we need three labs. Very simple. Science packs are made in labs, so if you're looking for them in the assembler, that's why they're not in the assembler, they're in the labs. Also, labs you can stack, since I have this lab, you can stack, and you can start with a stack size of 3, but you can upgrade that in the upgrade tree. In this lab menu, we're going to go produce. And then once we put our arms on this guy, we're going to start making science. Now to ensure your rates are correct, they've actually added rate calculators that you can unlock later, but you could also go in the statistics panel and see all of your production stats, what's being all made. What I like to do is I like to favorite the science packs, then if you click up here, you can see all your sciences, and we obviously only have one. Um, it's going to default to over the last 10 minutes, but, you know, depending on how recently you've made changes, you can change it to a one minute rate, 10 hours, all that good stuff. You can also set it to uh, planet, star system, 
and stuff like that too. Okay, so we're making science, but it's not researching. Why is that? We have not set up a researcher. What I also like to do is I like to set up a little buffer box. Just for times when things go wrong. Things shouldn't go wrong, but they might go wrong. And then these we're going to set to research. And then we have to have a research selected. So let's go over here and let's finish out these researches. And now we're researching. Let's go. Let's queue up a bunch of stuff. We want... Uh, we want this. We want this. We want our drones to go faster. <laughs> but you can look at uh, you can look at the research tree and see whatever you want. Whatever you think you will value. Okay. So a quicker one. Um but I hope you found everything useful. If you're interested in more guides like these, please subscribe. I also stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Would love to see you tune in. Also, if you have any questions, hey, look at that, first research. <laughs> love to see you tune in. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, Next time, I'll probably build this out a little bit, and we'll talk about oil. So, that's all for me, and take care.